We asked NHK senior commentator Noriyuki Mizuno for some perspective on what's happening at Fukushima Daiichi. Here's some of what he had to say through simultaneous interpretation. It's not in a critical condition, but close monitoring must continue to avoid criticality. Melted uranium fuel is believed to be scattered everywhere in the number two reactor and its containment vessel. A neutron ray may be causing nuclear fission from time to time. So long as this reaction is localized and temporary, there is no need to worry about. But this time, the location of melted fuel or the amount of water inside is believed to be creating a condition suitable for continuous nuclear fission. Having said that, there is no change in the temperature or pressure in the containment vessel. TEPCO is pouring boric acid solution to suppress nuclear fission. So it's unlikely that huge amount of radioactive substances will be released from the reactor. The government has been saying it aims to achieve a state of cold shutdown by the end of the year. It means bringing the temperatures inside the reactor under 100 degrees Celsius with the release of radioactive materials substantially reduced. But if nuclear fission occurs, even temporarily, new radioactive substances will be released, so it's difficult to declare that a situation has been brought under control. First and foremost, the condition inside the reactor must be grasped in detail. How much melted fuel still remains inside the reactor? How much of it has fallen into the containment vessel? Is the fuel submerged in the water? Those kinds of things. Of course, we cannot see the inside of the reactor directly, so various computer simulations would help us grasp the condition to some extent. If we know that nuclear fission is likely, we can change the water injection method to prevent it from happening. The nuclear fission may be taking place in number one and number three reactors as well, as they also have melted fuel. So we need to know the conditions of other reactors in detail. That's NHK senior commentator Noriyuki Mizuno. Workers at Japan's damaged nuclear facility are picking up some alarming readings. They've detected a radioactive substance that could signal Reactor 2 went into a temporary state of criticality when nuclear fission occurs continuously. Tokyo Electric Power Company employees detected radioactive substances Xenon-133 and Xenon-135 Tuesday in gas near a filter in the reactor's containment vessel. They also found signs of xenon-135 on Wednesday. Radioactive xenon is produced during nuclear fission. The half-life of xenon-133 is five days, and that of xenon-135 is just nine hours. TEPCO workers poured a boric acid solution into the reactor on Wednesday to suppress nuclear fission. Spokespeople for the utility say the temperature and pressure in the reactor basically remain unchanged. They say the reactor's cooling process is continuing. They expect to achieve a cold shutdown at Fukushima Daiichi by the end of the year as planned. Workers will keep monitoring the xenon levels in the number two reactor as well as checking the condition in reactors one and three. TEPCO is asking the Japan Atomic Energy Agency to re-examine the situation because it might have detected a different substance that has similar characteristics to xenon. In addition, Tokyo Electric said that radiation levels near the number two reactor were basically unchanged from the previous day. The utility says the reading at a monitoring post located about 500 meters northwest of the number two reactor stood at 293 microsieverts per hour as of 9 a.m., up only one microsievert from 24 hours earlier. It says the radiation level near the compound's west gate, about one kilometer from the number two reactor, was unchanged at 11.2 microsieverts per hour and that no neutron radiation was detected there. Readings taken at eight other monitoring posts around the plant on Wednesday were also identical to Tuesday's data.